What it is now, DP Peeps, Josh here with the Pride Productions, back in UE4 with the 27th material tutorial. That's story number 27. I got all kind of stuff. I got some stuff I'm going to show you. We're going to talk about the world position offset and what all kind of cool stuff it can do today. And I got some toilet paper. I got a little bit right here, and you can have it. I'm just kidding. It's mine. It's all mine. I'm going to keep it. Be jealous. I know all y'all jealous. I got all kind of toilet paper. I can drag them out here for days and do whatever I want with it. Now, I want to talk to you about this world position offset thing. Now, what we need is a material. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm going to create a, a new material. I'm going I'm to I'm name it TP. You know what I'm talking about? It's the TP. But I'm going to need an instance because I want to make some changes outside of it. So we got the TP instance for my toilet paper. And what I've got also, I've got some balls because you know I get down on that. Now, what I'm, I'm going to go ahead and delete my delete my toilet paper because I know y'all y'all are getting all kind of jealous. You know what I'm talking about? But I'm going to double click on this toilet paper, okay? And I'm going to go to my material instance, TP instance, and make sure sure it is the material boom i'm gonna do the same thing with this ball because i'm gonna do stuff with this ball too i'm gonna go back click on my instance my tp instance toilet paper all day every day and boom and there we go and now as you can tell everything's black okay cool but anyway world position offset i want to explain some things you can do you can deform your mesh in certain ways and i'm gonna show you some key uh, some neat tricks with it man for for foliage and for certain outdoor kind of stuff possibly just depending on what you're doing or whatever whatever not you know what i'm talking about but anyway let's jump right into it okay so uh first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go right here to my foliage editor right i'm gonna go i'm gonna scroll this window down my foliage here Oh, I got the toilet paper and the ball in there, as you can tell. Okay, I've got the basically I just drug them in there. You can snap, snap. I'm gonna go to uh, we'll, we'll unclick that. We'll do just the toilet paper. You know what I'm talking about? Come out here like this and be like, boom, son. All kind of toilet papers, little little little, little baby toilet papers everywhere, and and they're black. And, and we're gonna fix all that. But anyway, now we can now we can go back up here and let's get started. Let's go into the TP material and what we do in here when it functions with the different types of uh, materials and stuff or parameters, whatever they change, it'll update in the material instance so we'll be able to open that as well so we'll drag this here I'm gonna go ahead and close these two windows right and we'll go open my TP instance and got that bad baby right here ain't got nothing in it yet we got work to do first thing we're doing is gonna hold the letter uh, hold the letter V you know what I'm talking about it's gonna be a vector parameter we're gonna plug it into base collar and that's gonna be our collar so that's exactly what I'm gonna name it collar all day every day and now we're gonna do one more thing i wanted you to type it hold the letter v again oh oh not c don't do z bro you, you gotta make sure it's the letter v okay you gotta make sure it's the letter v and then i'll then i'll clear that plug this into world position offset this other vector parameter here you know what we're gonna name it we're gonna name it uh direction we're gonna name it direction bro we got the direction we got the collar and that's all we need let's save it and be done with it okay now let me show you what we can do with just this one parameter here just this we're gonna start simple but i want to show you what this does super super simple super simple tutorial today but i want to show you how important the world position offset is now we got all these little black toilet papers here it's auto saving all of the data packages because that's how it do go ue4 or whatever so what we'll do now is we'll go up into our instance here, and we'll drag it down right about here. You know what I'm saying? Now what I can do here is full screen, and now I've got my instance here, okay? And what, what I do here will affect my bad little toilet papers down in there. So if I go here and I, I work on the collar, right? I click on the collar. I can change the collar of my, my toilet papers, make them whatever color I want. You know what I'm talking about? I want them to be white. I want, I want them to be white because that's usually what they are, okay? Y'all can do whatever you want. And there we go. So now we got our toilet papers. Now... If I click on this, I want to show you what happens here. Now, if I, 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 I click down on this bad baby, and this is our vector direction that we created. Now, watch what happens if I scroll up on the red channel. What happens? Up, up, up. What's going on there? What's happening? The other way? What happens? What's going on? You can see that it's affecting where the where the toilet paper is, is located, where the toilet paper is going. It's running away from us. Let's set that back to zero. You know, everybody calm down. So as you can tell, the red, green, and blue is kind of like the X, Y, and Z channel of where you're actually placing your mesh it's taking that material of the mesh and drawing it so so in a different spot so b is going to be equal to z so it should go up right oh ho, ho, floating toilet papers flying around everywhere so i'm talking about so kind of kind of cool right it's very simple what you can do so you could set these to different values set that to 200 set this to uh 200 you know what i'm saying now they're floating up in the air whatever you want but i mean that's that that's as simple as world position offset is it's that simple it's actually cool but i want to show you some neat tricks we can do with it now you can't do this with with all your message meshes i'm sorry so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go back to the foliage and i'm gonna hold ctrl hold shift and delete all them toilet papers i'm gonna drag this little i'm gonna drag this winder down okay you gotta drag down drag down the winder if i can find it well i found it okay cool and instead of the toilet paper let's get our balls out okay pull your balls out do that with them you got all kind of balls everywhere okay you pull them out place them all over the grass okay now we got all kind of balls now what we're gonna do with these balls is we're gonna keep toying 
with our nonsense. But here's what's cool. Here's what's cool. If I open up this material instance again, as you can tell, even even what I, since it's the same material, you can tell that it's still being affected by the exact same material instance. Nice. You got a little you got a little two balls right there, and then one ball. Whatever. We'll set it back to zero, and then we're gonna leave it alone. We're gonna we're gonna place it back up here and just leave it alone for a minute. Now let's go back in here and do a couple things. Here's what I want you to do. I want to show you a couple tricks that that will make you kind of deform the mesh a little bit. Okay. So check it out. First thing we need we need that texture coordinate. Okay. We need one of those. Not not the texture sample, texture coordinate, boom, got him. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to mask out a certain channel. So type in the word mask, okay? And you will actually mask out to where we just get the green channel. Now look at this, I want you to look at this. We've looked at this 100,000 times, but we can see that it's gonna be kind of a gradient from white to black, and I've got live update selected so I can see that. Type in a line right there and type in one minus, okay? We're gonna reverse that, okay? We want the black on the bottom and we want the white on the top. I'm gonna hold the letter M, okay? And what, 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 what's happening here is I'm gonna take this direction and I'm going to multiply it by this gradient. Now, what that means is it can affect these numbers, but it can't affect the bottom, right? Because it's zero. And this is all math-based stuff. So that means that the world position offset can't, can't affect anything that is zero. So it's going to slowly affect it over a gradient, over a, a 2D gradient. Hard to explain. Okay, I'm just going to have to show you. I'm going to have to get in there and show you, bro. You got to just don't be afraid. Just don't be afraid. Watch what happens. So uh, anyway, let's go back. Let's check out all our balls. They're all, they're all hanging out here. I'm going to grab my material instance, right? Drag it back here. Make it a little smaller. One more again. Okay, boom. There she blow. I've got it all set up right there. Okay, here we go. We got our balls. They're everywhere. Now, let's see what happens if I slowly grab the red and bring it up. Let's up, up. Do you see what happened there? You see, you see the all, all little footballs, little footballs everywhere, right? Got little footballs. We bent, we bent our balls. We bent our balls. Okay, okay, be careful. Don't don't bend your balls too much. You're gonna go back this way. Okay, 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 cool. Kind of kind of like that, right? And you can obviously tell that's the left and right. This is the forward and the back, right? We got that. We can set that back to zero. Even though it's changing the collar, remember, we're not using the vector as a collar. We're using the vector as three separate values, like an XYZ plane, which RGB and XYZ are kind of the same thing. If I, if, I, if I do the blue, the, the, the Z, it's going to turn into a turn into a big old, yes. Now what we got is all these little spiky things, and I don't know why, but the point is you can do that. We're deforming the mesh, but guys, it gets a little better than that. Let me show you one more little trick, okay? Let's save that. We'll set everything back to what it was. Let's go back into the material one more again. I want to show you a little, little, little something we can do, okay? So check this out. What I want you to do is break that, hold alt, and drag a line from here. Let's type in the word subtract. I'm talking about subtract. Now, here's the thing. We may accidentally go under zero, and we do not want to do that. So we're going to clamp that value, right? We're going to clamp this value between zero and one. That way we don't accidentally go below zero or over one. Now, hold the letter S. That's a scalar parameter, a one-value parameter. We're going to plug it in right here. And we're going to name this, uh, I'm going to name it bend height ta-da so we have another scalar parameter called bend height or bend height so we have our we have our collar we have our direction and now we have our bend height now what's actually happening there is 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 it subtracting some of that gradient and you can see here if i, if I show you let's set that to maybe 0.5 now watch what happens to this gradient here Ooh, oh so it can only affect this much of it now now let, let, let's set it back to zero you know don't be scared let's keep it at zero no big deal let's save that let's go back and i'll explain to you how we can use this bend height we created to kind of affect the way it bends the mesh Again, it's just a little, little world position offset trick, bruh. You know, just a little, little something, something. Okay, now we got our balls. We got our balls here, right? Let's open up our material instance one more again. Last time, bring it down. Resize it just a little bit. Set it right here. F11 full screen, boom, we're in there. Now we got our balls, a couple of them touching each other. That's nasty. And the rest of them are separated, which I appreciate. Now, we, now we, got, we, got the, we, got the, we got the red, right? We can still do our same thing here. The red, bring it over there, leave it alone. Okay, let's, let's do a little something, something. Let's, let's go around here to the side so I can see the red actually working. Let's bring the red over about right there. Like that right there. Okay. And you know, I, 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 I'm going to just forget it. I'm going go to go to the bend height. I'm not going to get crazy with the collar. I feel weird right now. I want it to be blue. I'm, I'm strange. I want to take this number. And I want to set it to 0.5. Okay. Whoa. Just, just look at what happened there. It's only being able to bend above that gradient. So 0.7. Oh, oh. Yeah, we got a little, little pointy. little pointy ball coming out of the, coming a little, little point coming out of the ball. And just we're kind of kind of using that. Oh, you know what I'm saying? So as you can tell, though. As you can tell, if you look at it, based off this gradient, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1 means it can't affect it at all because it's all black now. We subtracted 1. But if we, if we subtract 0, it's going to work the way it's supposed to. So 0 0.5 kind of cut it in half. So check it out. Let's affect it on the, on the, on the, let's put 100 on the Z axis. And we got these little pointy little eggs, brah. You know what I'm talking about? And what's weird is you can set this to like 0 0.8. 
and you can set this to like maybe 250, huh? And you got these little points coming out of your coming out of, coming out of your ball. Okay, you could make them real high. You know what I'm talking about? And then again, you could you could affect this number. You see what I'm doing there? Just affecting, just making the ball come out. And you could have like a blueprint where this is set to zero or set to one, right? And then all of a sudden, a ball point starts growing out of the ball until oh god you know what i'm saying i mean i'm just saying like you could affect this with blueprints got a little point coming out of your ball come out of the side i don't care whatever makes you happy but guys there you go a little world position offset trick couple things you can do with world position offsets and you know stuff like that and like i said all, all i'm doing is i'm basically like i said in here uh doing very little i'm literally just affecting the world position offset with a direction which is using an xyz rgb same thing and then we're using the gradient and multiplying it by that value you know what i'm saying that's all we're really doing and there we go we got all kind of balls and like i said i can i can go in here and if i'm bored i can get rid of my balls and add some add some toilet paper but instead i'll just add more balls you know what i'm saying there's balls everywhere and that's what we're doing guys we got we're making balls we're making toilet paper you know and, and i'm not trying to make y'all jealous toilet paper's awesome i hope you guys got plenty of it i know i do uh, i have like seven rolls left and i'm gonna make it last i'm gonna make it last and i love you and i miss you and thank you guys for watching josh here with the prop productions uh ue4 all day a 27th material tutorial i hope this world offset position stuff world position offset stuff kind of shows you a couple cool tricks you can do with materials we're always dumping or jumping back into those but guys again thanks for watching please subscribe to the youtube channel deprive productions um facebook deprive productions soundcloud deprive 2019 bandcamp deprive 2019 capital d at the beginning capital d at the end go check out some free music you know what i'm talking about we got a huge project coming out i appreciate you guys love you missy we're almost at 1100 subscribers you guys have been awesome keep creating keep making cool stuff let me know if you come up with something cool and if you have any ideas for cool tutorials holla at your boy until then Peace.